That guy in a bubble. <laughs> Mark Henry interviews Britt Baker and Red Velvet to plug their main event match, which is happening in like five minutes. Mm -hmm. I found this very strange. Mark asks Red, why did you ruin Britt's victory parade on Dynamite? And Red points out, she attacked me with a crutch, which she did. Red was very right here. And she didn't. Uh, 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 so because... Well, she's right, because despite the crowd reactions in this match, Britt is the heel. Yes. And Red Velvet is the babyface. So the wronged individual was was correct about how they had been wronged, yeah. but it doesn't matter in Pittsburgh. No, no, mm -hmm. no. So Red says she had to ruin Britt's moment in front of her fans, and Britt says Red didn't ruin anything. This is still her main event at her city, and she's going to win. So it's Britt Baker versus Red Velvet. The biggest takeaway from this match was that Britt Baker has a broken wrist. Mm -hmm. And she broke her wrist three weeks ago. And I don't know if you've ever broken a bone or not. Sure. Unless you're zero, they usually do not heal in three weeks. And usually, I don't know, what, six weeks, eight I weeks? No so least. she's not even halfway. And... It's it's Pittsburgh, and she's not missing this show. And so she goes out there with a, a cast on her arm, and not only do they work over her broken wrist, but they tear the fucking cast off, and they're working on her exposed broken wrist. Yeah. I was sweating watching this match. <laughs> I was sweating. Bullets. How about when she went for the lockjaw and Red hammer-fisted the bad wrist to break oh free? Oh, my God. I mean, <laughs> it, it was... I don't know. Listen, here's the thing. She's a dentist, okay? It's one thing if, like, this is your main job and, you know, you've been doing this and you've saved $3 million, $4 million, $5 million, and when it's over, you can retire. It doesn't matter if you have horrible arthritis for the rest of your life. She's a dentist, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, you need your hands. She needs to take care of her wrist and her hands. So I was watching this, just, just petrified watching this match. And, I mean, to their credit, they turn into a story, and they even had, like, a great finish based on her injured wrist but it was still scary and i hope she can i hope it heals that's what i have to say i hope it heals so then in the match and as brian noted brit is the heel and they put this match together basically like she was the heel and the crowd didn't care they're gonna cheer for her no matter what so the psychology was very backwards rebel interfered constantly and got thrown out at, at one point and it was in the picture in picture Rebel took the crutch and put it across her throat as she was sitting in the corner, and Britt was kicking the crutch into her throat. You can't do that. No, that's illegal. That's it, It's mean. Is what that, is a, that is a heel move. That's a downright. And this beloved heel was cheating. Blatantly, yes. So the whole thing is very screwy. They did at least have her sell the, the arm for a while. As, as Brian noted, uh, Red is working over the legit bad arm. And Britt makes her comeback, and she goes for lock job, but she can't get it because she's got the bad wrist. So Britt has to let go, but in the process of letting go, she just slips over to the other side and applies lock job with her other hand. And Red Velvet taps out, and the place goes crazy. So it worked, but it was weird. It was actually better than that because Velvet had her in a lock jaw, and and it wasn't just Britt switching sides. Britt reversed the lock jaw. Into a lockjaw on the reverse side. Mm -hmm. And then put her in the lockjaw. That finish was awesome. It was. And the place goes absolutely crazy because she's the hometown hero. Yeah. And they decided we're going to put the hometown hero over Weird. in their hometown. Hmm. And they were all so happy. And like I said, she's still a heel. Because That's clear. the entire post-match was heel post-match. But what this is, is it's Bret Hart in Canada. He's still a dick to the baby faces, but it's in Canada. And so when she attacks Velvet after the match, everyone cheers. <laughs> when Chris Stanlander, Setlander this runs out so to bizarre. even the odds, everyone boos. It, it was bizarre world, yes. And then Jamie Hayter, Who? whose last name is Hater, mm -hmm. she comes out, everyone cheers. Well, no, that's Because she true. helps Brit. She helped, they, they, they were happy that she... Cut off Stat Statlander and say, Brit, they had zero idea who she was. No. Well, she has been on the show 
A long time ago. A long time ago. But not only that, she looked absolutely completely different. Yes. She's had a, a complete and total makeover. And so, like, even if you knew Jamie Hayter, but you hadn't seen her, you probably still wouldn't have known who this was when she came out. Unless she was wearing a shirt that said, I am Jamie Hayter. <laughs> I have no clue. I'm a hater. Woman. I have no she, clue what this was. Put your name in the back like a sports team. There's nothing wrong with that idea. <laughs> sure. So, anyway. I think if she would have put hater on the back of her shirt, Vinny, you still wouldn't have known who she was. I probably would not have. Yeah. She hater me. So. Hater aid. That's got to be in, put involved in this. Anyway. So Statlander's laid out. Red is eventually curb stomped onto the belt and everyone cheers. So I, I've ranted about the whole thing enough. No one needs to hear it again. It baffles me, but the people in Pittsburgh loved it. So what the hell? Mm-hmm. Dude, she's going to go to Chicago and she's going to go to wherever they're going. Houston. Houston's mm-hmm. up Aren't they in Houston? Okay, Houston's next they week. Are. She's probably going to get booed. I doubt that, actually. Well, it depends she's, on who she's facing. She's, she's cheered more, way more often than not. Uh, well, I think that uh, for now, she's going to be a heel that people like. And then one of these days, she'll turn and they'll like her even more. But it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter who the crowd cheers as long as your character is consistent. Sure. Right? I guess. Yeah, if she's, she's uh, mean to all the baby faces, they can cheer if they want to. It's not the end of the world. I mean, it wasn't the end of the world when they booed Roman Reigns, except the company decided it was the end of the world. We must get this man cheered. But did it matter? Did it matter when John Cena was booed for nine straight fucking years? No. Then he leaves and you got no stars. And then all of a sudden he comes back and everyone realizes, well, shit, now they cheer the guy. Because it didn't matter. So there you go. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.